Hello everybody, XP Gamer here. Welcome back to more Super Paper Mario. Last time, we defeated King Crocus and found out what the Fluorosapiens truly had in mind when they were kidnapping the Kragnons. They're actually just good people who care about themselves. Um, then we got the pure, the six pure, no, the six pure heart from them. Placed it in Flopside, explored Flopside a bit, and opened up this door. Um, hmm. 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 we're fine. We're fine. No preparing needed. Let's head in. I can't wait. Under the looming shadow of the void, the world slowly drifted toward demise. But not all hope was lost. Two pure hearts had yet to be found. Did our daring heroes find them, or was the world doomed to be devoured? Mario, Peach, and Bowser ventured through the next door to find out. Chapter 6-1 Samur Guy Showdown Void. It's enormous here, much bigger than it is in Flipside. This dimension must be very close to destruction. We'd better hurry. We have a pure heart to find. Yeah. Welcome to Samur's Kingdom. You hear that theme? I doubt many of you know this, but... If you remember when I had that outro at the end of all my videos, this song was in that outro. I don't think I mentioned this, but the last time I replayed Paper Mar Super Paper Mario was quite a while ago. I played it a lot, but the last time was really long ago. I am so glad to be revisiting this place. I love it. The music, the atmosphere, the void, so freaking big. I love it all. To King Samur's Palace. A rather wide bridge. Listen to this music though. It's so amazing. I yield! I am shamed! Ah, so you run, coward! You disgrace your family's honor! Another unworthy opponent! When will this hero of legend appear? Time is running out and still he refuses to show his face. You stop now! You wear the clothes of a crazy! You must be if you mean to challenge me. His name is Mario. He's not here to challenge you. Aha! So it begins, challenger. I am known as Jade Blooper, guardian of the first gate. Prepare for game over! Hacha! Round one, fight! Boy, get wrecked. Get wrecked! Get up here. Get up here! No more, I beg you! Your power is great, Challenger! Your skills are impressive. So the hero of legend has finally revealed himself. You may go to the next gate. What next gate? What is going on here? Oh, splendid! Oh ho, what a perform- Wait, no, not her. Uh. Ho ho, what a performance and what exotic garb you drape yourself in, Challenger. What a rousing spectacle of martial artistry! I don't know who you think you are, but I got a rousing spectacle for your face! Insolence! Show respect, dog! You stand before King Samur, ruler of the Samur Guys. Your unusual fighting style brings me amusement to no end! 
As reward for your victory, I shall allow a glimpse of my treasure. Behold! Hey, you got one of those pure heart things. Indeed, it is the pride of the kingdom. If you desire it, prove your worth by defeating my local, my loyal vessels in a tournament. A showdown, or is there going to be a steel cage? In our kingdom, there is a legend that has been passed down through gen generations. When a great hole appears in the sky, the world will soon be devoured. The tempest in the sky grows larger by the day. It must be stopped. But the legend goes on, and so I shall continue a very dramatic reading. <clears throat> Only one thing can stop the void. The great hero must be given the pure heart. Vassals to me. I must go be right back in a second. That was more like five seconds. It was going to be three seconds, but then I tripped and fell. But it's just not bad. To me! Insane. Insanity. Hacha! Hail Sama! 100 strong! These are my vessels. Should you beat them all, you will prove you are the one true hero. Yes, I shall reward you with a pure heart if you best my other 99 Sama guy. Be gone, Summer guys, and move to your tournament positions. Hacha! I'm sure I'll be on the edge of my throne throughout this thrilling tournament. I will await your arrival at the palace. The tournament has begun. Let skill decide. So the king will give us a pure heart if we beat the other 99 Summer guys? To get started, we have a lot of fighting to do. Just so you know, no secrets here. Nothing. No secrets whatsoever. No hidden coins. No hidden mushrooms. You have to rely on what you bring here and level ups. That's practically it. A hundred gates. I see you! Look upon Hill with Eyes, Keeper of the Second Gate. You run along the earth, attacking immobile blocks, and I see you. You leap above deep pits, dodging wandering beasts, and I watch you. Soon you will fall in battle by my merciless hand, and I laugh at you. Get ready for some references, too. Let me just say that. Because, just like in Geekland... You saw Jade Blooper, which I believe is actually a reference to both the Jade statue from the original Paper Mario and just bloopers. And now there's Hills with Eyes, which references that both a movie and that all of the hills in Mario games have eyes. Ow! Oh, right in the eye! You did not wither beneath my cold, unflinching stare and saw him defeated. But defeat and victory are equally meaningless to one such as I. I will remain in the distance, waiting without remorse. And always watching. I love this place. Granted, the theme has changed, sadly. This theme is good, too. But it's not the Samurai's Kingdom theme. It is the Samurai's Kingdom Battle theme. An opponent blows in. My name floats like an ill wind. For I am Puffing Fist, Guardian of the Third Gate. I can send the mightiest opponent to his doom with a single strike. Pwang! As you can see, he is a different color. The blue ones can jump. Also, he's dead. <laughs> no! It is you who has dealt the pwanging. I have failed the ancient pwang traditions. My strikes lack a puff. I must go and train at the Cloud Temple. I will use my remaining vacation days. One thing I love... They're characters. Also, I like how they're all different. I give them all different voices. I try. And uh, I was going to say something, but I forget it now. I like how, yeah, I like how they all bow to you. Like they aren't afraid to admit defeat. Soon, Challenger, you will scream in terror at the name of the flightless bird. For I am Squatting Birdo, reference, ever hunkering guardian of the fourth gate. 
Now you will know the fury of the most deadly fighting style. Birdo squat! Doo -doo -boo -doo -doo death. Also, these guys can pop out of nowhere. I believe they're called like ninjos or something. Back it up. Squawk! The egg of my defeat burns hot on my face. I bow to your skill. Birdo be with you, challenger. Yeah, I really love this place. Alright, who's next? Tell me, Challenger, have you ever tried to catch a jumping fish with your bare hands? You will know the frustration soon, for I am leaping cheap, keeper of the fifth gate. The cheap cheap soars in the air and strikes its prey like a fishy tsunami. Nothing else, apparently. So yeah, there's a level up. Cool. But that's so cheap! Your skill is strong. If only my flying fishy friends had leapt to my aid when I called out. You had no time to call. You were dead instantly. Trust me, a lot of them do get harder. There are different varieties of them. As you saw, there are a bunch of different colors, each with their own meanings. I think you might have seen a few small ones in there. And there were really large ones, too. Before we must fight, consider this haiku. A challenger comes under the darkening sky. Wiggity wiggle. Master Wiggler wiggles in defense of the sixth gate. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. A jewel. I find using carry and, like, jumping with Bowser really helps. Just, just drive him into the back. Wigurt! Before you leave, contemplate this IQ. The challenger came. Now my face wiggles in pain. Wiggle, wiggle, wig. Wiggle on, warrior. Wiggle on. So, yeah, it's gonna take a while, but I love it. No matter what. The music, I let I love all their personalities. Stone Powell! I am Sue of Kalibo! I protect the seventh gate, Stomp Powell! Some try to tiptoe past me like little fancy slippers. I stomp them, Stomp Powell! Sue stomps all, Stomp Powell! Sue of Karibu will tread on you, Stomp Powell! So yeah, Sue of Karibo, we have a joke uh not a, not a joke, a reference about that. Stomp powed! Stomp pow, I am stomped! You crush out my stomp pow! You boot shoe! I was not gonna say stomp pow again. My throat is hurting. Already. And we still have what? 93 more to go? I believe that was number 7. Maybe not even, maybe 6. You fly now! I am Guy Who Fly, master of Dripping Magma Punch, guard of the Eighth Gate. I see your eyes burn with purpose. Will I torch you today? Or will your burning desire to win extinguish me, I say? You fly now! So we have a pun on Fry Guy, or technically not a pun. Yeah, as you can see, they do jump like I said. Only the blue ones, though. Boy, I want to kill the Ninja Boo. Or whatever, I don't know why I call him Ninja Boo. I think carry can really help with these guys because if they jump then you can flame them in midair too it is I who fly today I forgot his, his voice I am like a sad pail of discarded grease go now and fry summer guys in memory of guy who fly all right so we lost a bit of health on that one and their next level up also Forty four hundred twenty thousand. Yes! The shrill shriek of the screaming mantis paralyzes you at gate nine. You are motionless with fear. Now I prey on your face. Yes! God, my throat. I'm doing it to myself. I'm doing it to myself. Yeah! I'm not gonna finish that. Screaming mantis's throat grows hoarse. I feel ya. 
Screaming Mantis requires a lozenge. Also, you can uh, use Tippy's ability to tattle each, to technically tattle each and every one of these guys. If you flip into 3D, at least. Otherwise, you can't see them. Oh, first big dude. And so you come at last, like a young bloom poking through an early spring snow. I am called Koopa in winter. I wait, immobile by the tenth gate. The plant that blooms early freezes and perishes, and so too shall you. These guys can smash down on you with that giant thing. They can jump. They can roll, in fact. They can also roll. Boy. Yeah. Also, they have a lot of HP, as to be expected. Or at least more than the other ones. The cold sun of winter is set upon my soul. It made you bloom this day, but beware. The ice and snow know no allegiance. It will consume you too. Did, can I not jump over him? I could have sworn like I jumped, but it looked like it, it felt like I paused on something. So I thought he had like a weird hitbox or something, but no. Nope. The eleventh gate, a place of power, and here you find footsteps of coins. Tell me, warrior, do you walk with your eyes open? Do you see many coins? Coins in blocks, coins on clouds, everywhere there are coins glittering. It is I who leave them. It is I who wander the wide world, coins falling from my heels. Does this mean others should pick up my coins? Of course not. The coins are mine alone, and now I will make chains out of you. Cha-ching! I, I don't know. I just felt like doing a Waluigi voice for one of them, okay? Buckets. Also, he has a spike on his head, as you can see, so... You know. Come, boy. You dead. I'm broke! My wealth has it. My wealth was in my battle skills, and you have robbed me of them. My poverty of spirit is now matched by my empty packets. And now I am faced with, no, a loan from mother. She would frown upon me. I would rather sell my weapons. Uh, good luck, Waluigi Sammer guy. <laughs> you slowly turned into not Waluigi Sammer guy. So you challenge your skill in the duel of a hundred. I'm the guardian of the twelfth gate, urchin lung. Haha, <laughs> so you must wonder, how many more of these guys must I fight? Fool! There are 88 more of us. Does your resolve falter? Do you have what it takes? It is a relentless marathon of martial artistry. Now, come at me! Yup, 88 more. <laughs> Gotta hit him on the jumping. Uh. Boy, come in, come in. Uh. Uh, you're trapped. Pitiful being. A clamp, I yield. Haha, so you are not a slacker after all. Fresh challenger. was gonna walk in, but he didn't. Oh, look, here's a new type. I will feast on the delicious flavor of your defeat. I am Crow Who Eats, guardian of the 13th gate. I will make many meals from your shame. Can you jump? I just want to know that right off the bat. Yeah, they can make beans out of their sword. I don't know if they can jump, though. Cruel irony. No, irony. No, it is I who must eat crow. So just keep on going. Hello, plaything. I am Thwollen Tongue, master of the 14th gate. Fear me. You shall not die. 
Wait, I mean quack. I mean pa. Oh, who cares? Let us fight. Go. I like this guy. This guy's cute. I remember him. Good that I remember a lot of these. I remember all their names. It's not all their dialogue. Glad I have been fit. I mean hit. I wish I was more fit. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with this. So, had enough, have you? Bye now. I mean, bye. I like that, because it's like, you know, bye and bye. They're spelled differently, but really, <laughs> there's no difference in pronunciation. <laughs> Oh, you face next this slipping grip, fearless guardian of the 15th gate. I am a new student of the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy, but I recently passed my slapatology exam with the highest marks. Now it is you who reap the benefits of my industrious note-taking. Okay, so jumping off the bat against these guys also won't work all that well. Boy, give me a chance. There we go. Grip slipping. I bring shame upon the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. But you will be no match for my brothers. Their palms wield the fury of the winds. Alright. I'll beat them too, boy. I think you're cool. So you have defeated my brother. I am the second most famous student of the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. You have no doubt seen me in the Academy Lose Letter. I am Clammy Hand. Guarding the 16th gate is my senior project. I will not fail. I like that, how he says it's a senior project. Alright, so back up, backing up against them apparently works. The world grows clammy. So clammy. Do not think this is done! You must face my other brother next. He got detention for studying the forbidden wicked palm of a thousand sweats. Boy, you think you're powerful? I can destroy you all! All hundred of you! Nothing will stand in my way. I am forbidden slap! former top student of the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. But I was expelled for learning forbidden slapping techniques from dark tomes. Now I wield history's most feared and reviled sword slaps. I guarantee you. Yep, you're just using the same move as your brothers. Pitiful being. The forbidden slap yields. You have defeated the three star pupils of the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. Y you okay there, boy? Your face looks a little facey. Brother! Brother, are you hurt? Slipping grip, clammy ham. Why are you here? Why have you left your gates? And why are you coming off on the right? We were worried about you. Brother, return to the Academy. They will take you back. Yes, let us return to the Academy and earn an advanced Sweaty Palm belt. Perhaps they will forgive my selfish quest for dark slapping power. As for you, you may pass. You have beaten us. Now go on and shame the rest like you have shamed us. May the martial arts spirits grant you luck. Onward to glory. And now they go off to the left. Wait, I thought you were going to college or something. Leave. What are we at, by the way? Because I haven't been paying attention to the numbers too, too much. Come closer. I am just a harmless leaf on the trimmed lawn of the 18th gate. I'm not gonna peek the mic. I'm not gonna destroy my voice. No, I'm a hairy tarantula in the grass. I leap on your head and bite your earlobe. This guy can be pretty annoying. As you can see, he is fast. Doesn't have much HP, but he can be extremely annoying later on. Because there are more of them, and there are different types of them. 
Your earlobe, it is like iron. I skitter away. So you're losing AP. Luckily, we have enough healing items. Stoic and impenetrable, another castle stands vigil over the 19th gate. Many challengers attempt to lay siege on me, all leave in tears. Tire yourself all you like pummeling my stony abdomen. I will not fail. This guy's name is Another Castle. That's literally his name, Another Castle. I love it. Back away. He does actually have a lot of HP, so he's right about the steel abdomen. Maybe not steel, but... Walls falling! I forget his voice already. Well done, but your prize is in another castle. Ha 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 ha. I get it. See, I love all these references. It's cute. Oh boy. Smoosh! To roll and flomp! There is one thing best in life. Rolling. Squish. I roll over you and make you flat like sheet of paper. Alright, so. Learn my lesson about these guys. Run away first. Then we squish them. Boy, the ceiling hit me. Hello there. He's rolling at me, isn't he? He tried to. Bjork! Why do you not squish for rolling thromp? Rolling and squishing is not the same as it was. You go now. I have lost passion for squish. Oh boy. That's not good. The void is growing larger. We have to hurry. Hurry? Why not pause and save the show? I don't know who's talking. Oh, I know who's talking. Yes, I know who's talking. We meeting up with the man himself. It is already far too late to stop. Count Black. Who's the creepy count with the... Oh, wait. What? Who's speaking? Yes. Bowser's, Bowser's mouth is closed. Black. <laughs> Black. The prophecy unfolds smoothly thanks to the Chaos Heart. The light of each world will be snuffed out one by one. Why would you want to do something so unspeakable? You question, Count Black? This worthless world's destruction matters not. Far better for Count Black to wipe it out of existence than let it remain. How can you say that? That's horrible. Count Black scoffs at you. An insignificant pixel lectures Count Black on what is right and wrong. This is not up for discussion. You're wrong and sick. All living things have a heart. They're all priceless. You can't just erase them. Of all things, you defend the heart. Nothing could be more worthless. All things are meaningless. Aside from timpani, no treasure mattered in the least to me. Tim... Timpani? Speak no more! This world is dying under the monocled gaze of Count Black. But don't let that stop you from trying to find a pure heart you will never acquire. <laughs> Black. Oh, dear. World goes squish soon. Must tell King Sammer. Must not accidentally squish King again. You guys pick up on that? You guys pick up on what's happening? Huh? You guys, you guys see that, right? You know that. You know what's going on now, huh? right? I mean, I do, because I've played the game seven times. Guardian of the 21st Gate simmers in hot, savory fury. I am thrashing prawn. You will never pierce my briny husk. I will flail mercilessly at your 
Yeah. So all of them are pretty much like dead. And they know, they know what's going on. They see that void, they see it. It's hard not to. <laughs> so they let you just pass them all up. So I guess this really isn't the duel of a hundred after all. So you just want to keep going through these doors. Sunshine flood, the shining beacon that exposes your filthy filth. Dooby dooby doo. Reference the sunshine and how it's filled. And there we go. Also, not the game filled, but like how the island is filled with filth. End of chapter. With the void encompassing the entire sky, the end of the world was at hand. The pressure was on for the heroes to find all the remaining pure hearts. Would Regal King Samur be willing to part with his most precious treasure? Leaving an army of Samur guys in his wake, Mario stepped into the palace. Chapter 6-2 The End of a World Splendid! The heroes have arrived! We've received word of your nasty run-in with that despicable Count Blackfellow. So the legends are true. Our ancestors truly did foretell these days. Your ancestors want you to shut up already and fork over the pure heart. You haven't defeated all, one, all of my 100 samurai guys, but the situation is grave. Oh, why not? Just for royal giggles, the treasure sits on the 26th gate. Go claim the pure heart you so richly desire. Or deserve. Sammer's early duels. With that, we have made our way to Sammer's kingdom. The place is being devoured rather quickly. We had a nasty run in with Count Black. We defeated the first 20, I believe, 20 Sammer guys. And next time on Super Paper Mario, we're going to open this chest and hopefully get our hands on that next pure heart. See you guys then. Also, this music is back. Oh, my God. I'm going to let this run for a bit. Okay, not prolonging it too long. See you, everybody.